<laughs> good, good. You aren't gonna believe. The, look at this. <laughs> I'm just a little uncomfortable by that, but not that much. Um, <laughs> it's cars and coffee in Charlotte, man. You just never know what you're gonna run across. Um, let's start off with some uh, some really cool, some series old Volkswagens. In fact, I'm kind of the the microbus here reminds me how much I missed. Daytona, the Rolex 24 last week, there's always this group of guys that are on the infield and they're always there and I'm, honestly their buses are all just total junk but those guys are there every single year having a great time partying and just having a blast man and that's what uh, the Rolex is all about. A little chilly this morning here in Charlotte, it's 24 degrees. Now for those of you that are you know, back home up in Michigan where I'm from, I know you guys give me a bunch of crap and you know, oh you Charlotte guys, you've gone soft on us. I'm not going to lie, it's uh, yeah, definitely uh, I've got some thin skin these days. But that said, check out this uh, this turnout. I mean, that is just packed. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars here, and I almost just got run over by a Tesla because I didn't hear them coming. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look around and see what else we can find here. Stand by. So I gotta tell you, there are some stunning Bentleys in the world. This one is not one of them. This is the brand new Bentley Bentayga. It's their new SUV, and I, I you know, a stunning interior, no doubt it drives great, but it's just kind of, no, it's just, look, I mean, this thing is just, it's not attractive, I'm sorry, it just isn't. You know what the sticker price is on this thing? $278,000. You spend over a quarter of a million dollars to look like a knucklehead in that thing. I, I suppose if you got that kind of money, you just, just don't care. Now, this one, here. Now we're talking. This is the new, uh, the, the new Maserati, the, what is it, the Levanza, Levante, Levante. Um, that is a great looking SUV. This one I like. This one's beautiful. Let's see what's the damage on this thing here. Maybe, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, look at that. 79 grand. It's $200,000 less than the Bentley. And it looks stunning. It's fantastic. Beautiful machine. Audi R8. Some great stuff. God, God knows there's a, a thousand Corvettes here. Nothing against the Corvette guys. I mean, it's a great car. Lots of respect for the for the amount of value for the money. But it's like the Toyota Camry of sports cars. There's just so damn many of them, you know. Let's see what else we got. Hey, we got a no the Porsche. I did. I brought my Porsche out today. Nice 911 there. Ooh, piece of my childhood. Piece of my childhood. Just check it out. See what? Oh, I'm going there. You bet, man. Ferrari 308. Makes you want to grow a mustache, doesn't it? Wear a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> it's great stuff. Uh, got a Hellcat Challenger over here. Got the uh, twin turbo V8 Mercedes. I mean, some amazing rides in this joint, as always. Oh, look at look at these Mercedes. Hello, hi. Oh, you don't suck at all. <laughs> really great stuff. But then, so you got that. This is what I love so much about about cars and coffee events. Check this out. You know, it's like right across from, from those giant cars. Abart. Perfect, right? The most fun you can have for $22,000, no lie. Of course, you can't argue with, uh, with the TA Viper. The orange ones where they make, what, 99 of those things? Yeah, you know, for a couple of years. Hey, here's the guy with a hot rotted up. Nice, man. Hot rotted up Jeep Commander. I, I daily drive one of those things. And how about this, SRT4? with some beat up drag radials on the front too. So, great stuff. Oh, I swear to God, I just, I gotta. Did you see the picture that I posted up on my Instagram the other day? The the guest at one of our events, I was at, uh, was, Bear ja was Bear Jackson. And the guy was wearing this great t-shirt. It's uh, the, you know how everybody does, does the fake Run DMC t-shirts? Except it said Run, and then had a picture of a, a DeLorean. DMC, DeLorean Motor Company, so. Very cool to see a DeLorean here. Yeah, of course, I've stumbled across something that I know very well. Let's see if I can zoom on out here. Check it out. Yes, Hellcat Charger in Go Mango. What a cool color, too. I mean, again, you know, Dodge has had this great uh, history in the last few years of coming back with some, some throwback colors, and people really love those things. Go Mango looks fantastic. I just, I, I, I love it. I really do. Uh, what do we got here? Scat Pack. I got a 392 Scat Pack Challenger. Check out this Beetle. I don't know what kind of, there we go. Oh, the sun is just killing us today. But this whole thing is completely awesome in its total rat rod, piece of junk kind of way, man. I love that thing. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I always think about what kind of cars that I can build with my kid, you know, and he's, what, 10 years old now, and he's been through a couple of race cars with me, several race cars, actually, and, and uh, you know, something like that, like that Volkswagen would be a fantastic thing to, uh, to build. Uh, now, a minute ago, and I didn't get it on camera, but there was a pretty cool old 356. Not real pretty, daily driver kind of stuff. I mean, you know, not daily, but a driver. This one over here, though, <laughs> Look at this guy. That is a stunningly pretty car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. An awful lot. And of course, looks like I got the mini gang right here, too. I've got an all four here. I uh, got this guy that's nice. I think I've seen this guy around town before. Got an M7 decal on there, so I'm sure he's got his, uh, got his toys. Got some cameras for some track day duty. And then, of course, an original Mini. If you ever want to see just how small the original Mini is, we take a look at it, and, you know, this one, this is an R R53 Mini. This one absolutely dwarfs the original Mini, and then don't even get me started on how big that one is to that one, which is what makes this one, oh, and it's right-hand drive, too, makes it just that much cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. That is definitely a car that I would own. All right, we're going to keep, oh, no way. Hang on, i got to not get hit here. I'm glad you guys are able to come along for the trip with me on this one, because this is awesome. You just never know what you're going to run into at a Cars and Coffee. Again, that's what makes it such a cool deal. So, I've owned an Alpha. I've been blessed to do some, some work for Alpha. How about classic Alpha? Yes, that's... Uh, do, 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 do. Sprint GT Veloce. And you gotta say it that way too with the Italian accent, right? Of course, we just went from a, a classic Alpha to a modern Alpha. How about the new Alpha 4C? We got a couple of them, several of them here. We got three of them. One, two, three of the guys. <sighs> I was so close to buying one of these things. You know how close I was. If you guys pay attention to me anywhere on social, you know, just I've been just loving these things. I've been blessed to get to work with Alpha. Uh, several times over the years. In fact, I'm going to do it again. I'll be at Amelia Island doing the ride and drive again at uh, Amelia this year. And uh, these things are just an absolute scream. It's like a, you know, two-thirds scale Ferrari 458, 488, and, and they, they feel every bit of it. They're so, so much fun. If you get the opportunity to drive one, I highly recommend it. And of course, with the Rolex 24 Daytona just last weekend, the Michael Shank Racing Team almost pulled off a victory in the brand new Acura NSX. Got one of the streetcar versions right here behind us. Amazing car, pretty impressive stuff. Efficient and fast, and it just, you know what, it makes, honestly, it makes the old NSX just that much more appealing now, too, because while a lot of folks are saying this car might be a little bit too digital, you know, the old car was just pure and raw and simplistic and yet still a, a, an everyday supercar that you could really truly drive and, and enjoy. But great to see this one out here and a whole lot more going on here at Cars and Coffee in Charlotte.